What's up guys, it's Blackwing2040 and I'm back to do another tag video for you guys. So, a lot of you guys know, or some of you may know, that I am a huge, huge Power Rangers fan. And I haven't really expressed that that much on my channel because, like, you know, I always be talking about comic books with DC and Marvel and all that other jazz and also old school cartoons I used to grow up with. But I, mostly Power Rangers was like my pride and joy throughout my entire childhood. Like, I would not always, growing up, I would always talk about it to the bone. So, at first I felt like, you know, ashamed talking about Power Rangers on my channel. But then again, I started to embrace it and I feel like, it's okay to talk about this stuff. I got a whole, we got a whole Ranger Nation here that just loves talking about Power Rangers. And I remember on my earlier, way back in my early days on my channel, I did review um, Power Rangers Super Mega Force episodes. I didn't get com, I didn't get any comments. I just got likes and dislikes, but I didn't care. So right now I'm doing a Ranger Tag video, and whatever hap whatever happens, happens. All right, that's all I gotta say. So anyway, if you guys are Power Rangers fans and, you know, a little embarrassed to embrace it, all I got to say is to you guys, be true to who you are. You like whatever you like at the end of the day. At the end of the day, we're all fans of something and whatever we're fans of, we embrace it and we love it. So everyone's fans of something different. So it doesn't matter. We're all fans here. So let's, you know, let's keep it growing. So... This is called the Ranger Tag, and I was supplied by the questions by TY Films, and he's also a new subscriber of mine, so shout out to um, TY Films. Thank you so much for supplying me with these questions, and let's get started with this Ranger Tag, shall we? So, looking at this tag, there are like 16 questions. So, the first question is, what is your favorite Power Rangers season? Time Force, okay? I... I've been watching Power Rangers all my life, but none other, no better season has caught my eye than Time Force. And I have to say, there are moments in that season where it was just so dope. Especially the Quantum Ranger. Oh my gosh. The Quantum Ranger, he was just amazing. There was sometimes you would just, you know, get mad at him because he was such, I would say he was kind of a loner, but he was, you know, he had his own method of doing things, but it was just so amazing. And plus, even though his suit was red, most people thought, like, wait a minute, don't we already have a Red Ranger? But just, you know, he's the Quantum Ranger. Their suits may kind of look identical. It's just some designs on the suits are a little different. But I love Time Force. And not only that, this team is also the second team to be led by a female Ranger, and that was Jen. Jen was a beast. She took no prisoners. I mean, of course, there were moments she would, you know, let loose and everything, but she took no prisoners. And I love Jen. She was awesome. She was an awesome Pink Ranger. And I kind of had a little bit of a, you know, fan crush on her. But hey, that's what we do. Anyway, next question is, what was your least favorite Power Ranger season? You know... I'm gonna have to go, it's between Samurai and Super Mega Force, because Samurai was good to bring back the series, that was what I did love about it, but the fact about it was, it was kind of toned down a little bit, like, they took a little step back, which, to me, is okay, but there were, t there were times, even the dialogue, no disrespect to the cast, the cast was brilliant, they are amazing cast. But there were some things I just didn't understand, like, what is he saying? What's with this? Why are you guys speaking like this? Like, there were moments where they didn't really have a lot of fun with each other. But there were some moments, but they were just barely there. And one, Jaden, the Red Ranger, he, he was a real powerful, strong leader. But there were moments, he didn't, he was so compelled on getting the job done, but he really had any time to, you know take, you know, take a load off, and, like, there was, in the first episode, um, where, you know, they, they're chosen to be rangers, he was like, I must not fail, I am the Red Ranger, in my mind, I was like, that's not really the best line of dialogue I would hear a Power Ranger say, but, eh, and Super Mega Force, it was dope at times, because Mega Force was the 20th anniversary season, and Super Mega Force was season 21. Now, it was 
okay that they had, you know, they were able to morph from, you know, into all the rangers in history. That was awesome. Even they also used um, some rangers from the Super Sentai adaption. If you guys don't know what Super Sentai is, Super Sentai is where Power Rangers first originated. It originated in Japan, and the, for them, the series was called Super Sentai. And they've been going on. They've been going for a long time. I think right now they're on their 35th season. I'm not. No, I'm no 40, 40th season, and they've been going on for a long time. So pretty much. That's how it happened for uh, for us. We adapted from them. <laughs> so anyway, I would say Super Mega Force was okay at some points. It's just the Legendary War, that Legendary Battle. It was nice to have all the um special old school Rangers come back to do that you know epic scene right there. But the whole Legendary Battle thing, I felt like it was just washed out. It it was something that we've already seen before, like already, like like couldn't we get something a little better that's that was me when i was watching the legendary battle i wasn't amused i really wasn't amused like because i'm like i saw this already like you're giving me something i've already seen already and i'll explain how how i saw it but yeah it's between samurai and super mega force but mainly i would say samurai is my least favorite all right so next question question number three is if you could be any ranger color what would it be? Come on, guys. You know, you know me. My favorite color is green. I would so love to be the Green Ranger. I would, any if I could choose any Ranger to be, I would always be green. And every time when I was watching a Power Rangers season, if it had a Green Ranger, I was always the Green Ranger. But if that season didn't have a Green Ranger, because the the color the colors between green and black would always switch, from you know from time to time. So if there was no Green Ranger on the team, I would always be red. So. That, so green is like my main primary color, but red is pretty much a secondary. I mean, who wouldn't want to lead the Power Rangers for, for Pete's sake? That would be awesome. So green, top notch. That would be my only Ranger color I would want to be. So all right, next question is, who is your favorite Ranger? Wow, that's gonna be that's a tough one because they're like over a hundred Rangers, like literally over a hundred Rangers. Or it could be, I could be wrong, over 100 or 150? No, no, not 150. This is like pretty much, like I would say, like over 100 Rangers. And that's a really, really tough question. Um, I would have to say... Mm, this, is a really this is a really tough question. Oh my gosh. I would have to say, um, Adam, Adam, I would say Adam is my favorite ranger because not only is he a good martial arts fighter, he's also, he's also a great ranger in, in spirit in se himself because I loved him as, as the black ranger. He was awesome as a black ranger, but I definitely loved him as the green ranger as well. He also knew how to take, you know, take command from time to time. And that's what I also loved about Adam. He always knew how to, you know, when Tommy wasn't around Adam would always know how to take charge. Rocky was kind of, you could say, Rocky was kind of like the goofball of the, of the team. Because usually Green is always the goofball of the team, but Rocky, he was the goofball. But Adam, he really knows how to hold it down as, like, you know, when Tommy's not around, Adam's there to take control. And he really does know how to take control. And he's awesome. I love Adam. All right, next question is, which Ranger, if any, did you have a crush on? There were a lot of beautiful female rangers in the past. Trust me, they are there are a lot. But my main number one ranger crush was Jen from Time Force. I had many others. I mean, Sid from SPD, Madison from um shoot, Mystic Force, um Shelby from Dino Dino Charge. Trust me, she I love her. I really have a there are so many beautiful rangers out there, and if I had to choose one, it would have to be Aaron Cahill, who played Jen. So, Jen, I had like a uber crush on her, and and plus she's fierce. She's fierce, but she is also beautiful. That's who I had. That was who my ranger crush was. All right, number seven. Do you or did you watch any seasons of Super Samurai? And if so, which is your favorite season? Okay. Now, I didn't, okay, 
There was an episode in um Dino Thunder where they dubbed one of the episodes from the Di- the Sentai adapt Sentai version of um Dino Thunder. It was called Abaranger. That's A B A Ranger. So Abaranger. So there was this one episode that they dubbed, and that was like the first time I figured out. Oh, so Power Rangers originated from Japan, not America. We came up with the we just pretty much adapted from that. And it it blew my mind. So I'm I'm in my mind I was like my life was a lie. <laughs> but no, I didn't think that, but it was it was really good to see where it came from. And it's kind of awesome how we have different um we have different cultures like J- Japan, that's where anime came from. And plus America has a huge bucket load of anime fans. I'm an anime fan myself. So, but if I had to, yes, I did watch some Sentai um seasons. Unless you count the 35th anniversary movie, that was like probably the one and only thing Super Sentai that I watched because that's where the legendary battle in Super Mega Force came from and it was amazing to watch. And what was so dope about it, in that final battle, they had Every Megazord, I'm not kidding, every single Megazord in history, even from the Sentai seasons, every Megazord that appeared in Super Sentai was in that final battle. And when I'm watching this and I'm comparing it to the Super Mega Force um, Legendary Battle, I'm like, man, we missed out on so many great opportunities. Like, why couldn't we get some of this stuff? I mean, we got some moments that adapted from from um that 30, 35th anniversary movie, but we there was so much we could have gotten, and oh my gosh, that was just so so crazy. But yeah, that it was. I forgot what it was called. It was. It has a really long title. Like I really can't like look it up or say it right now on the top of my head. But it was really really amazing to watch. I watched it like about three times, who knows, I may watch it again, because that's pretty much to me, like, the only thing Super Sentai that I enjoyed, but I'm kind of itching towards to know, to move forward to watching a full season of Super Sentai, so, who knows, it, it could happen, I can, I, I can, um, you know, I can try new things, so, yeah, alright, number eight, have you ever dressed up like a Power Ranger? All my life for Halloween, yes, I dressed up as a Power Ranger. I dressed up as um, the Red Wind Wind Ranger from Ninja Storm, the Red Ranger from Dino Thunder, the Red Ranger from SBD, the Green Ranger from Mystic Force, um, the Red Ranger from Operation Overdrive. I dressed up as like five Rangers for Halloween, five. And four of those four of those rangers were red. And plus, they weren't really many green ranger costumes out there. Most costumes for the guys that they were always get would always be you know red or blue. But I never got red or blue. I mean, I never got um blue. I only wore like a green ranger costume like once. But it, in the dream of wearing a co- a Power Ranger costume as a kid, you know, you had that little kid inside you. It just made you feel really, really, really good inside, and it was awesome. All right, next question, number nine. What is your most prized Power Ranger item? You know what? I'll show you guys. Be right back. Okay, so this. This is my most prized Power Ranger item that I have. This is literally the only, only thing Power Rangers related that I still have. I mean, I still have like about six DVDs and... Four VHSs, but this, this is like my most prized Power Ranger possession right now. I had a lot, I mean a lot of Power Ranger toys growing up, but you know, as you grow up, you feel like you, you're too old to play with toys, but now I, learn, now I learned that even as a Ranger fan, you don't always have to play with them. They're also good for collecting. Now, I want to be a collector myself, but, you know, there's sometimes you have to have a huge shelf and you had to, you know, play certain things on that shelf. And I, I feel like I don't have any place to put that shelf. But this, um, the Best of Power Rangers album song from the TV series, it had a whole bunch of songs from Wild Force, from Turbo, um, from the, um, Zeo. 
In Space. It had a lot of songs on here. And it was a really good, good album, by the way. I really don't know how many people still have this, but this is a really prized possession right here. I'm never giving this thing away. Ever. I'm still keeping this. This is going to stay with me forever. All right, so <laughs> that was like my most prized um, Power Ranger possession. All right, now let's move on to the next question. The next question is, who is your favorite Power Rangers villain? Hmm. My most favorite? Oh, Ranzik. Because, all right, in Power Rangers history, everyone knows the villain's main purpose is, you know, is to take over the world. Rants and plus, you know, later in certain seasons, there are villains that also get redemptions. Ranzik, of all people, he, I loved his character. As a villain, he was a savage fighter. Like, really a savage. Like, his whole body was just spikes. Like, being around, if you fought that guy, you would be dead. I would run for my life. But as, you know, as a villain, he also got redemption. And in... In the Time Force Wild Force team up called Reinforcements from the Future, he actually did, he um Ranzik created some monsters called Mutorgs um when he was, you know, upset and enraged when he when society, you know, pushed him away because, you know, he was a mutant. So back then he was, you know, filled with rage, anger, and then he felt like the right moment to redeem himself was, you know, to destroy those monsters, which he did. He took um the mutant portion from the Mutorgs, and when that happened, he became a full human being. I'm like, wow. Like, no other villain has done that before. Like, literally none. What, I mean, what kind of villain in Power Rangers has ever done that? But, hey, that Ranzik, he's awesome. He's, like, my one of my favorite, favorite favorite villains okay next question is favorite power ranger moment you know i'm gonna take it back old school back to the og my favorite power ranger moment was when tommy officially joined the team because when i first watched um green with evil i was young i was very young and i didn't okay i didn't start watching power rangers back when the early days i was born in 98 the show started in 93 but when they had a rerun, you know the TV um TV shows a whole lot of reruns of old Power Ranger episodes. When I watched Green with Evil, I was so surprised when I watched how fierce of a Ranger Tommy was and how he was beating the crap out of the Rangers. And then at the end where Jason fought Tommy on a one-on-one -on -one fight, that was just so amazing. And that moment where Tommy officially joined the team and they did their fit, you know, their morph and did a roll call with all six of them together. It was just so beautiful to see. It was just amazing. So that's my favorite moment in Power Rangers. All right, next question is saddest Ranger moment. I know this moment is going to be on everyone's list because pretty much everyone agrees on this. The saddest moment in Power Rangers history was when Zordon died. Trust me. After seeing that moment... I mean, it took me time to realize how amazing of a character Zordon, Zordon was. I mean, he's been with the Rangers since the very beginning, from Mighty Morphin all the way to in space. So, he's been around for quite some time. And then for him to sacrifice himself by spreading a wave of pure goodness, curing the villains and turning them into, you know, good people, I'm like, some friends are worth sacrificing. So, that moment... In um, the finale of In Space, that really hit me hard. Like it, like it just, I, it gave me the feels like so hard, and it was just so sad to watch. But hey, it sacrifices are meant to be made to you know to save the universe. All right, so that was my saddest <laughs> Power Ranger moment. Number thirteen, top three morphing sequences. Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, okay. My number three would be Time Force, because I love the whole, you know, um, background, the whole digital stuff when they're morphing. Um, my number two, it would have to be um, Lightspeed Rescue, because I love, I love the way how they do it. And my number one has to be Wild Force, because 
Wild and plus Wild Force was one of my favorite seasons. That's one season I also watched from beginning to end. So those are my top three morphing sequences. Number three, Time Force. Number two, Light to Be Rescue. And number one, Wild Force. All right, next question. Favorite Megazord. My all-time favorite Megazord? The SWAT Megazord from SPD. This is one Megazord. I wanted, I wanted to have this Megazord as a toy. Like, I never got the toy for this uh, Megazord because it's all jets and everything. And it has, it kind of looks like, a, it kind of feels like Starscream from Transformers. It has the wings on its shoulders. How It's a fast flying machine. And not only that, it's finisher. It turns into a gun. So I'm like, this thing is like Starscream and Megatron at the same time. I'm like. Whoa, that's probably the dopest Megazord I've ever seen in my life. And if I ever had the chance to pilot the SWAT Megazord, I would, because that is my number one favorite, all-time favorite Megazord in history. It is so dope. I really wish I had the toy for the SWAT Megazord. I really wish I did. All right, next question. If you could pick any Rangers from any season to be an elite team, who would they be? So, I guess, you know, pretty much a full ranger team would be, like, five, or and, of course, you gotta have an extra ranger. So, this will be my dream team. My, yeah, my ranger elite dream team. Red, red ranger position will go to Jason, because I love Jason. Jason is one of my favorite red rangers. Um, green ranger, it would go to Damon from Lost Galaxy. Yellow ranger will go to Gia from Megaforce. Pink Ranger, it would go to, I would say Sid from SPD. Blue Ranger, it would go to Theo from Jungle Fury. And for the extra Ranger, I would, um, you know, the sixth Ranger spot, I would give it to Trent from Dino Thunder because, man, Trent was a beast. Trust, like a beast kind of Ranger. I love him. All right, and the final question is, favorite mentor? I would have to say Sensei from Ninja Storm because even though Sensei was like you know guinea pig in guinea pig form for like the entire season, he was still you know a great mentor to the Rangers, giving them full advice and everything, say and teaching them you know while teaching them ninja training, he was still a dope a dope mentor and I like I liked Sensei a lot. So anyway. That's this the end of this Ranger tag. I know I feel like I kind of prolonged this a little bit, but that's okay. But it was so awesome to do this with you guys. I'll leave the questions in um the description below so you guys can you know you guys can answer them. So in the also in the comment section below, tell me what did you love about Power Rangers? What was your favorite season? Who was your favorite villain? What was your favorite Ranger color? Tell me all the tell me all the good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until then i am vengeance i am darkness i am blackwing stay golden